Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. Today we are at, you see it behind me, I think, ish, Goodwill. Yeah, we are. We're gonna go thrift shopping, see if we can't find any Christmas goodies, maybe decor, maybe we find something else for resale, maybe we find something for ourselves. Here's hoping it is a larger Goodwill. It's a little chaotic or has a tendency to be a little chaotic. So I'm assuming today's video is gonna be a voiceover. Let's get inside, guys, and see what we can find. Here we go. It's the goodwill that we're gonna go in. No discounts on Christmas. Into the second door, no discounts. No. Here we do, here we do, here we go. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, our first stop is gonna be here at the jewelry cabinet. It is up front of the store. We're gonna check things out here, see if there's anything of value. Now we do see that dragonfly brooch right there in the front. Unfortunately, it is missing some stones. I see a little uh, multicolor brooch there, that circular one towards the back. Again, it's missing a stone. So nothing here for us to get. So we're going to move on. Here, they've got all of the Christmas items up front. These are typically towards the back. So it's nice that they have moved them up front. You can see that the shelves are definitely full. Um, they're full of Christmas items, not necessarily what I'm looking for, at least on first glance. However, this little cutie does pop out at me. It's a little angel light. Um, it's ceramic. It's cute. It's like a home co piece, but I'm not overly thrilled with it. Checking for any repairs and I'm, where is the price at? And I'm, Ooh, $10. Um, no, not really feeling it for 10. It's not the most stable thing with that cord. So we're going to go ahead and move on up next. We've got some more Christmas here, checking it out. I like to just kind of go down the aisles and see what pops out at first glance. And then I kind of circle back and really root through things to see if anything is hidden. There is definitely stuff that's hidden back there. I'm really so this cute little clear glass thing or jigger here. Yeah, no, not so much. So. <laughs> Now they do have some toys pulled here because of course it's Christmas and I, I naturally see the Skeletor here. It's a little mega, mega blocks. Um, I think it's from Mattel. It's kind of like a Lego-esque uh, building block set, but mm, definitely not what we're, we're, we're in the market for. So we're going to leave those behind. It looks like the toy section really got picked over, but I do see some more decor items here. Again, just kind of taking a glance and then I do spot some elves back here for you little weirdos these guys are cute they look a little more contemporary um, oh it is signed they're $2.99 each June McKenna McKenna collectibles um, it's interesting that they've got a manufacturer sticker on them and they're signed down there so I'm gonna run a comp turns out the elves aren't too much however I do find these two little nutcrackers here these are not focusing. It's being hateful, this camera. It, okay, let's try this again. Is it not gonna focus? Try up close and personal. Yeah, no, it's still not. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so these little guys are collectible. There is some a little bit of value on them. Now I do purchase them at th or three dollars. Let's just round it. Um, and I do end up selling them for one of the $10 items that I have during my live sales. So it wasn't the hugest profit, but it was still a cute little collectible item. Uh, we're going to check out anything else. I don't really see anything else in these aisles. So, uh, oh, got a little nutcracker here. It looks like he's, is it real fur? Mm, it says made in China. It's a good synthetic fur. The beard is definitely synthetic. Okay, I can see it is a synthetic fur, so definitely a contemporary piece. He's missing a little staff or wand or sword or something, uh, so I'm going to leave him there. Some little frosty salt and pepper shakers. These are more contemporary. They look like 90s pieces, little hallmark piece here. Nothing to get too excited about, so mm, anything else, anything else? What's over here? The little Rankin Bass. Oh, it's a little squishy toy. No, not for us. Hmm. Let's see what else we can find if we find anything. Okay, well, it's just going to be the two Nutcrackers for now. So we're going to go ahead and move on. 
Now they do have quite an extensive little like plate serving dish area. These caught my eye. It's Mary Gregory style. It's not actually Mary Gregory. These are vintage, a blue satin. They're $8 each. Um, turns out they are Westmoreland. You can actually pick these up on eBay for about $6 a plate. So uh, definitely going to leave those behind. It, it's a very specific look. So moving on, talking about a specific look, we've got this little planter here. Perfect game with this beat up bowling pin. I... <laughs> He is bruised. It is a narco, but the subject matter is a little too specific. So I'm going to go ahead and leave him behind. We're going to move on here. Now I did see this kind of Lennox-esque nativity scene here. I love that cream and gold. It's elegant. It's from Home Goods. <laughs> no, it's still cute, you know, and, uh, $15. I don't know how I feel about the price, but if you love it, you love it. And that's all that matters at the end of the day. Oh, clear glass flower frog. You know what? I know it's not that exciting. It's only $2. And uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get this piece. There's a little bit of rusting in there, so it looks like it was used at one time. But overall, really good condition. So yeah, we're going to pick this one up for 2 bucks. Now, just above it, I did spot some carnival glass. Unfortunately, there's some pretty substantial chipping on it. These are more of the contemporary in the marigold here, the little bonbon dishes. And for broken glass at Goodwill, you can get that for $6. So there you go. I found Fenton. I found Fenton glass at the Goodwill. It's not the most exciting of pieces. This is a little January birthday bear but I do love it. It's got its original Fenton uh, sticker on there as well as the barcode. So I'm excited to find Fenton. We're going to go ahead and get him. And we're starting to fill up our little basket here. And on my way back, I did spot this very large ornament cookie jar. It's from Real Home. Let us entertain you. I love the colors. I love the simplicity of it. It is $10. It's a contemporary piece, meaning that it's, it's going to be food safe so that you could actually use it. I love the tilt on it. I did run a quick comp on it. It sells for about $25. I was able to also successfully sell this one for $25 during a sale. So that was really cool. Excited to pick that one up. Moving on, this is actually a different Christmas aisle. So there's quite a bit of Christmas that they have put out. Uh, unfortunately, there's just not a whole lot um, that is of value. So it's cool to see. We've got some hanger hooks here, a lot of mugs, just a, a bunch of bric-a-brac. It's, to be frank with you, very dollar store kind of material. Moving on from the Christmas, I did see this little art artisan pottery piece here. It is etched void. Now, the paint is a bit crude. I am down with the shape of it. I love... Um, I love the overall feel of it, but that paint is just really lacking for me. Maybe if it was all black, I might have been more tempted. How much is a can? Eight dollars for a unknown candle. How much is this? Yeah, is it burnt? Yep, a burnt Yankee candle will be eight dollars. Cool. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> Cute little trinket dish right here. I was tempted. I love the combination of blue and yellow. It turns out it's it's another hobbyist piece from Campbell of 423. I don't think that was the year. I think it was the actual, you know, April 23rd. You all know what I mean. No damage on it, but I wasn't overly excited about it, so I did decide to go ahead and put it back. Cute little mouse here. I thought this was one of those, um, the Nutcracker ones. The, the Santas can go for some really good money, so... But unfortunately, it was just like a little generic polystone. I did see this ceramic little Santa back here. He's vintage inspired, but it is more of a contemporary piece. It looks like it's just a little figural piece. He's cute. Um, if it was true vintage, I probably would have picked it up. But it being a contemporary piece, I did decide to go ahead and leave him. Cute little ornament scent set here. Button covers, big pardon. Uh, but again, it's a contemporary piece. Not again that there's anything wrong with it, but I do want to concentrate on vintage and antique goods. I did spot these little crafting bags here. It did have some pieces that I was interested in, a few of the wooden ornaments. 
we have these little plastic figurines in here as well as the new old stock the little deer here um but at five dollars it's just i have enough of this stuff so trying to make smart decisions in that regard so i did end up leaving that one behind here we've got a christmas angel she had quite the look to her again just not what i'm quite looking for now i did see this mary makers it's a department 56 it's a whole line of like these fryers and they're all christmas obviously they're christmas related um this is the taffy twister unfortunately his taffy was missing um he's priced at only three dollars it is vintage made in taiwan so it's like a, a 1980s i did run a quick comp on it again it's a full series of different figurines they range anywhere from 15 to 25 dollars i would have snatched it up but that damage i mean he's missing his whole shtick his whole taffy pulling shtick so i did have to leave him behind got some ornaments we're kind of digging in through here in the christmas just making sure now that i'm not missing anything this is part of the trip now where i'm really starting to get in here get my hands dirty literally um just not finding a whole lot of value in the aisles currently so definitely want to take my time there's a lot of stuff to see we've got some uh left and inspired the holly and berry this is one of the hobbyist pieces the little candlestick here very 80s um but not being true left in i do leave that one behind cute little wooden santa there these are really cute do you all remember the little kiosks in the mall um what was it things remembered and they would you know you would etch you would get the ornaments etched these are new old stock seems that they're all the same it's all the raggedy ann um, little ornaments. I do pull them out. They're 99 cents each. I think these will make great little freebies. I did want to see if there was any other different ones. I didn't spot any initially. So, oh, and then I do spot, we've got a circular one here. Turns out it's a little Snoopy with the tree. So I do pick him up also. Um, but at 99 cents, you know, this is something that I'm going to give away. I don't know that there's a tremendous amount of value in these um i was curious about the candle and the wreath unfortunately with the date of 1979 it's so very specific uh that i do leave those ones behind the raggedy and the snoopy didn't have years on them so i do decide to get those up but again those are going to be like a free thing um as i said earlier with the nutcrackers for ten dollars this sleigh card holder it's made in thailand it's 99 cents i think this is going to be a great vintage item that I'll be able to offer at just $10. Um, you know, as a reseller, I think it's really important not only to have a wide variety of items, but also a wide variety of price points. Um, you wanna try to get as much for as many people as you possibly can. And always having like $100 plus one bases kind of alienates some people. So having some fun vintage that you can get and offer at affordable rates, I think really does help grow your business. Um, and it's important to, again, try to attract as many buyers as you possibly can. These are really cute. I thought these were going to be glass. Um, it turns out they're acrylic, though. It, they, they are feeling vintage. Again, like that mid-90s. Um, these were priced at $1.99, which, you know, is not really that bad. That definitely could have been a good $10 item. Um, I just wasn't in the mood for it. I was finding too many $10 items and uh, I really want to get things of more value. I did spot this little clear Fenton uh, taper candle holder. It was $1.30. Sadly, I did not find the mate to it and I really did put forth some effort to try to find it. I would have definitely picked up the set at $2.60. Um, I think there would have been some nice value in that. Again, not a whole lot. But again, something, and it's it's a good quality piece of glass. It's not, again, the most dynamic or exciting, but still, it is Fenton. Um, so there is a little bit of desirability on that. This is really interesting. I spotted it right away. This is a Viking uh, Lotus dish. Now, these come in three different sizes. This is one of the three sizes. It's nice that it still has its original Viking sticker on there. And at $1.99, it's a beautiful satin glass, so it does have that texturing. The actual mold has a texture to it to really mimic um, the petals of a flower. So I thought this was fun and I did decide to go ahead and pick it up. Then I spotted this creepy little baby and you know I had to get her on there. She had quite the day. 
Next up, I did find this adorable little paper mache ornament. He's only 99 cents and the best deal, he still has his original hand tag on him. Now he is from 1984. The designer is, is uh, Louis Nickel, um, but you know, this is a great get. Here is everything that we did pick up today. We did find Fenton, we did find Viking, gosh darn it. I love the cookie jar. We found some smalls, which I think is nice. Don't forget, we got the nutcrackers down below. And uh, yeah, I'm pleased with it. We'll wrap it up outside, guys. Well, guys, there you have it. Today's Shop With Me video. You know what? I'm not mad. Was it the most dynamic Fenton and Viking glass pieces ever? No, but the simple fact that we found Fenton and Viking in a Goodwill, I'm going to call that a win. I hope that you guys did enjoy today's Shop With Me video. It's always a pleasure to bring you guys along with me. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite find of the day was. I'd appreciate it. And until next time, guys, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye, guys.